gas station log. It is June 2nd, 2018, and I am officially out of the motel. I got everything out of there. I took two loads over to the house this morning. The last of it is in my car. I'm gonna take it over there tonight and hopefully get the bed and maybe the washer and dryer. And unfortunately, there was a delay in turning the power on. They're all booked up today and won't be able to get to it till tomorrow, so that will suck. Having to go to bed tonight without power, but I suppose I've done it before. <laughs> All right, let's go rock the gas station today. Gas station log. It is a scorcher today. Oh my gosh, it is so hot outside. So hot. All right, I can't wait to get in that air-conditioned box. Here we go, let's rock it. Gas station log, what's up everybody? It is, it's four o'clock. Wow, already, sweet. So yeah, we're going to get the bed tonight out of Granny's basement and so I'll have a place to sleep. I can only hope that even though they said that they'll come turn the power on tomorrow and that they're booked today, I'm hoping that they get a chance to squeeze it in today because I really don't want to have to go to sleep tonight with no power and no air conditioning. That would suck, but at least it would be in my own place. I've done it before. So yeah, buddy, I got a Mooney Mist. Dude, it is so hot outside today. The air conditioning in here has finally cooled me back off. And you know what? I, I, may, I may not really want to be in a relationship right now, but you know what? Lady friends are awesome. I love lady friends. They're so sweet and nice. And they're your, and they're your buddy. And I'm their buddy. It's nice. Good stuff. Yay, Jesus. Yay, lady friends. Hey everybody, guess what? I got me some food. Biscuits and gravy. It's a southern meal you can eat anytime. Anywhere. I, heck, even people in the north love biscuits and gravy. Oh, my hair is crazy. I need a haircut. Gas station log. How is everybody out there today? I'm sitting here selling petrol to people. I work in a petrol station. Would you like to buy some petrol? You know what I like about this job? Everybody in the whole community comes to me for their petrol. The people that work at the courthouse, the people that work at McDonald's, the people that work at Taco Bell. Everybody comes to me for their petrol. It is so hot outside today. Outside, I was I was thinking about a thing, and yeah, it, it's 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 frustrating. So many people look at the impoverished in the world today, and they're like, "Oh, they're just not cutting it. They're just not working hard enough." Stuff like that. But the problem is, is while there are people out there who aren't trying that don't want to work, that are just trying to skate by, stuff like that, and maybe they're lazy, but there's just as many people that don't do it because they can't keep up. They can't. Too many people that just bounce from job to job because they just can't keep jobs. It's not because they're lazy or anything, it's just that because they just, it just doesn't happen. Most of the people in this country will look at those people and say, oh, they just need to try harder. Oh, they just need to do more. They just need to do this. They just need to do that. Well, how about those people shut their freaking face before I punch it? Like, it's just, it's, 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 and, and therein lies half of the problem. Is we can't decipher, we can't separate the people who are just lazy and don't want to try from the people that are trying and just can't keep up because they end up looking the same and there's so many impoverished people because you just you just can't keep up I am fortunate I got this job and I've had it for like the almost it's been almost a year now but there are people and I've struggled with this too. There are people that just can't hold down jobs. I don't know why. I'm not judging them for why they can't. Because I don't know. But I'm just saying, like, 
they, it's, it's almost impossible for them to get by if they can't hold down jobs. And that's, that's tragic. It's part of the problem. It's part of what's creating the problem. Not to say that it's bad, it's just that that is part of the reason why there's so many impoverished people. And I don't think, as a society or even as a government, we're handling it very well. Because all anybody else wants to do is point the finger and say, you aren't good enough. And that is just wrong. That's just wrong, my friends. It's wrong. It's wrong. We cannot judge another person by comparing their success level to our success level. That is the greatest form of hypocrisy and favoritism that you could possibly commit. You know what else gets me thinking? The woman with two or three kids who also falls into that category, they can, like, she can't hold down a job long enough to effectively live anywhere. They live on the street or out of their car. And I'm just thinking, as hot as it is today, how would you do that? That would be such a sad situation. How do you say you get a new job and, oh, I gotta go make the money so we can afford things, but you live out of your car and you've got two or three kids. You clearly can't afford daycare because daycare is just stupid, like, costing that much. What do you do? How do you deal with that? Because that would be such a hard, tragic situation. Jesus, oh Jesus, where are you? Can you please let the power be on when I get home? Please, buddy, you're a good, good Jesus. Okay, buddy. All right, Mike, there's nobody in the parking lot. Oh, somebody's showing up, shoot. I'm gonna say it's 7.57, you could just come on down early, Mike, and get me. Mike, 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 come get me, Mike, be my buddy. Gas station log, final thoughts for July 2nd, 2018. Final thoughts. Jesus is good. After six months of being in that motel, which wasn't terribly bad. I'm not going to say it was. It was a lot better than being stuck at a homeless shelter like I was eight years ago. But nevertheless, I get to move into a house. God is really good. I like how he raised the bottom so that when I had nothing left, I didn't have to fall so far. That was nice. So just trust in Jesus. He'll get you through. Whatever it is that you're going through, You could, your life could have fallen out the bottom, and he'll still get you through. So with that, good night. God bless. Oh look, Mike's coming! Yay, Mike, Mike, Mike! Oh, it went and got dark. Gas station log got pretty much everything. Got the washer and dryer and the bed moved into the house. There's still no power, no water until tomorrow. But I'm gonna walk over to save a lot. Yay, buddies.